According to a report, the Chicago Bears believe that quarterback Justin Fields is playing better football than he's ever played before over the last two games. So let's talk about this, people. What is going on? Y'all follow sports all back at it with another video talking, of course, man, I'm here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please hit that subscribe button down below. Please make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, guys. As always, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Right, so this is a report. Uh, coming from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, so NFL reporter for ESPN, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and he basically said that the Chicago Bears believe that quarterback Justin Fields has seen the field better in the better than ever in the past two games. And the team believes that when Justin Fields' footwork is clean, that he guides his eyes, good things happen in the pocket. And you've seen the direct result of that over the last two games. He's got eight touchdowns to just one interception at about 700 uh, passing yards. So to me, talking about this with Justin Fields, there's two things that I really want to point to, okay? First and foremost, let's just start with the fact that I agree with this statement. I think this is the best we've seen Justin Fields play uh, in his career. The last two games against the Commanders and, and, and the game against the Broncos are the two best games I've seen Justin Fields play. And the reason why is because... It's coming from the passing game. I know he's had way better rushing performances. I know he's had you know way better numbers in terms of that. But when we're just talking about quarterbacking, the art of quarterbacking, the last two games, Justin Fields has quarterbacked better than he's ever done in his career. So I agree with this statement. And it's also interesting because uh, Jeff Hughes of the Bears blog also rep uh, re replied to somebody uh, linking him to this report saying that a buddy in the building, the Bears building house hall, told him, and I quote, it's happening. And now Jeff has um, people inside the building. I do trust Jeff. He's reported on that before. So uh, the Bears truly believe that this is happening where it feels is turning the corner and he is maturing and becoming the passer we always envisioned. So let's just go back to what I was talking about here. There's two main things here that I want to talk about. The first and foremost is that this is happening from a passing standpoint. That's important because last year, when Justin Fields did turn around, it was from a rushing standpoint. It wasn't from a passing standpoint, but in his defense, didn't have a lot of guys to throw to, but it didn't happen from a passing standpoint. These last two games, we have seen what Justin Fields can be as a straight up pocket passer. I'm talking just sitting in the pocket, Stepping back and delivering. No, I'm not saying that I don't want him to run ever. No, obviously his legs are arguably his best attribute. Definitely still want to use those, but I'm just talking about quarterbacking. This is the best two games that he's done. So the number one thing that I've seen is, again, the production is coming from the pass game. That's been the best part. The second thing is, let's just give credit where credit needs to be given. The offensive line has been excellent. I mean, flat out excellent because... There are times now where Justin Fields sits in the pocket and is able to actually assess the field and able to throw. Like, it's such a refreshing thing to see here. And that's why I want to give credit to the offensive line because a lot of the troubles Fields had was he had to get the ball out quick or he was fidgety or he was, you know, uh, had happy feet because he didn't know when he was going to get hit. He just knew he was going to get hit. Right? It was going to happen, so he's like, I got to get the ball out, quit. I can't even go through my pro pro progressions. And so now he's able to sit back. He's able to, uh, you know, drag the safety with his eyes and able to hit DJ Moore in the back end, left corner of the end zone. He's able to manipulate the defense with his eyes because he's got the time to do so. He's got the time to do so, and that's huge. That's huge because that was not the case last year. wasn't even the case early on this year. The offensive line has played much better, giving Fields time. And when Justin Fields gets time, because we know he does not have a quick release, when he gets time and he is able to actually load up and deliver, it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. And in the Commanders game, that's exactly what you saw. He gets time, he loads up, and rocket after rocket after rocket to DJ Moore, DJ Moore and, and a bunch of other guys as well. But it was just lasers. And so that to me is another big difference that I want to just talk about, which is shout out to the offensive line, man. I hope they continue playing that way. And then the last, I know I said two things, but just one other quick thing here is, look, 
folks, let's just, you know, be fair about this. When people aren't playing well, you you criticize them. But when they are playing well, you got to give them credit. Credit goes to Luke Getze as well. Because Luke Getze is able to devise these game plans and they're better suited. He's able to get the ball in the hands of his playmaker, which he wasn't doing earlier. You learn from your mistakes. So I want to give credit to Luke Getze. All right, yeah, let's not be a hypocrite about it. We did criticize him. His game plans were terrible early on, but he's turned the corner. I want to give him credit. So overall, folks, I really, really do feel like Justin Fields has turned the corner as a passer. And in order for him to keep this up, what needs to happen is the offensive line absolutely needs to continue to play like they've been doing. I think that's a major key. And the second thing is Justin Fields needs to continue to trust his receivers. He's throwing to a guy like DJ Moore even when he's not open because he knows he can trust DJ Moore. That wasn't there last year. He needs to trust his receivers. He needs to trust his eyes and he needs to be able to trust himself. That's the biggest difference. So I think Justin Fields is going to be able to keep this up. But yeah, man, I love seeing this. This is the best version of Justin Fields we have seen in his short career, honestly. And I don't think that's an exaggeration. And now I just hope he carries over and continues moving forward. So let me know what you guys think, man. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always.